Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be redoing a few of these stepping stones. Over time they shift and settle, and sometimes we get chipmunks and things burrowing underneath and that'll shift them. So to redo these, I'm just going to use three basic tools. A shovel, so that we can add new material. And the best material to use is actually a small rock. About this size is perfect any larger and you'll have a little bit of difficulty actually keeping it level. I don't have a lot of rock so I'm going to be using a little bit of a mixture of native soil and rock wherever I can get it and to kind of settle some of these larger pieces I'm going to be using a rubber mallet. This way we can hammer these stones and really get them exactly where we want them. The last tool I'm going to be using is a level. Now if you don't have a level, or if your level is too wide to fit on your trail, you can actually use a water bottle. Just set it on its side and kind of find the angle, and that'll help you out just a little bit. It's not going to be exact, but it's better than nothing. If there's a bit of a steeper incline, like there is right here, it's okay to shorten up that distance just a bit, but then once we level off I want to keep that distance pretty consistent. And we can use something like this mallet to get our spacing properly. And this one is about a foot apart, so we can just jut it up against the next stone. That one's pretty close. It's a little bit further down, but within an inch of the last one. This one's about just about right, and this one is way off, as you can see. We may need to incorporate a new stone by shifting this one down, we're going to widen the gap here, so we could probably squeeze another stepping stone right in between. But then look at all this. This is all washed out. So I want to elevate these. Here's a section that I really enjoy. And it looks like it got eaten back just today. This is all clover, and it's a really great ground cover. It doesn't encroach very much, and if it does, we can just pull it back. This one's about at ground level at the back, and so by raising it up about an inch, it'll actually help it stay clear of weeds, and any water that comes down here won't flood on top like it has down here. So this is probably the worst offender. It's too low, it's been flooded, it's crooked, and it just needs to be completely redone. So I'm gonna clear it of its wood chips, and We'll see what we've got underneath. So it looks okay. There aren't any tunnels or anything. Sometimes we do get chipmunk tunnels and that can really skew them. I'm just gonna fill it up so it's almost at soil level. I do want them to sink down a little bit so they're stable, but I don't want them to be so sunken that they're gonna flood again. Now this is really easy if you've got rock. You can just pour on a big pile and then add your stone and shift it around. I'm just going to aim for relatively level. I'm not going to get it perfect. But it looks like we need a little bit more down on this end. Now look at that, that's perfect check this way so we could sink it down a little bit so the next stone looks pretty good I think we'll shoot for about this distance for every single stepping stone so we'll just go along and level these off raise them up and that should be it So I've really changed this one dramatically. This one's completely off-center, and we've allowed room for one more stone. And this one, we can see one of those chipmunk burrows. That really offsets the level. 
and then we're going to actually incorporate this little wall into one of our stairs. So that can count as a step. I'm also transplanting any kind of ground covers like these clover or these strawberries that I had to move. We also have dandelions and purslane and common plantain. So I want to keep these as ground covers. I really like how they hold back erosion. Now that we've leveled off all our stones, you want to be cautious for the next couple of weeks. That soil could potentially shift over time, and after a rainfall, you're going to get a little bit of settling. So just be cautious. Sometimes the stones can be a little wobbly, and that can be really hard to fine tune. But I think we've raised them up, we've spaced them out really nice, and now it's nice and consistent. So we've done really excellent work here today. Now this is something you can do in your own garden. So I hope you give this a grow. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.